I was born and raised in Miami, Florida, and I started building drag cars over 20 years ago. I moved to Ireland in 2008 and got involved in the drift scene. Over the years, I've been lucky enough to work with some of the biggest names in Ireland. This led me to meet Bagsy in 2018 and travel Europe doing events with the team. So Bagsy approached me to build the GT86 for 2021. My name is Bob Stevens, and this is Motorsport 56. Jesus, what does he want? Hello? Yeah, of course I'm working on your car. What else would I be doing? Sure, it's like there's two of me out there. I know, I know Driftmasters is around the corner. I'll get it done, don't worry. You know, if you'd pay me more money, maybe the car would get done sooner. Yeah, bye. The P. Hey guys, how you doing? Bob here at Motorsport 56. So we did the main structure of the cage and got the main hoop and the A pillars and the roof bar and the boxes made. We got that all welded up and then dropped it down, welded the top and popped it back up and put the boxes in and everything. And now we're gonna go at the back part of the cage and the back half of the car, cut the back off and then start doing the tunnel and then prep the front to seam, seam weld the engine bay um, and just continue to try to build the car and try to get it ready for 2021. Like that, that looks so good, but then will that be too close to his head? I think, you know what, fuck it, that's what he's getting. I don't give a shit. You just have to deal with it. He shouldn't have such a big fucking head. That's what his problem is. Jimmy's useless as well. If I had Jimmy here to hold the pipe, it'd be easier, so it's all his fault. That's why production level's down. Jimmy's pretending like he's working his day job. That's what Jimmy's doing. Oh, the car should be ready. Well, Drift Masters is like May. So we have till the evening before. <laughs> if you know what I mean. But hopefully we can get out for testing and uh, before May, but I don't know. It depends. All depends on parts at the moment. Oh, so close yet so far. It's a lovely welder. Jimmy, did you see I got a new welder? Yes, I seen you got a new welder. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice welder, isn't it? It's lovely. Did you know I bought a new welder? Yes, I can see the new welder. It's a nice welder, you isn't it? You can put your bloody name on it. I know it's well, yours. Yeah, I know it's lovely though. Have you seen it though? Have you tried it or looked at it? Yeah. It's a lovely welder, Jim. Beautiful. Beautiful. Actually, Jimmy, did you see that I got a new welder? I've, yes. It's a nice welder. You should go have a look at it, Jim. Actually, Jimmy, did you see I got a new welder? Yes, I it's seen you got a new welder. It's a nice welder, Jim. This way, Jim. You like that new welder, Jim? I do. It's a lovely welder, isn't it? Lovely. Did you see the new welder, Adrian? Yeah. It's nice. I feel like, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> did you, you like the new welder, Jim? It's some fucking welder like. It's a lovely yoke. I'm telling you. Yeah. You should buy one. No, you know what? You <laughs> and your new welder. Go and weld the bloody thing then. Stop I'm trying to it. weld, but I just... Stop I'm talking. You got a new welder, did you? Yeah, I did actually. It's actually a lovely welder. Yeah. Uh, what do you call it? Jeb Tools. You got a new Jeb? Mm. Oh, look at that. <laughs> How smooth is that, Jimmy? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> what do you think? What do you think about the welder? It's actually crooked as hell. You know when Bagsy rings? Yeah. And asks an update on the car? Yeah. 
Like, if you was ring right now, what would you say? That we're in the middle of welding the cage. Well, actually, we're you know we have we're working on the welder, so technically, it this is for the car. This is procrastination. Sure, look. Is this where that fire is going to be? Yeah, I know you don't agree with it, but go fuck yourself. Because the thing is, if you actually look at the curve, it is very far back. But the problem is, is what I'm saying is, if you look at the curvature of the wind, so look at how far you can't put the, you can't put the bar here because there's like no room. All right, so what, what else you can, what else you want to talk about? What do you want to critique now? I'm just, I'm just asking. Are you going to do a, a watch it the next? Yeah, one? no, I'm going to do an A-frame because I because. Well, first of all, I think the A-frame will be better for his head because if you do an X, it's going to go to that corner. Yeah. So I want to do an A-frame out. And besides, because you know how that turns the whole car into a structure yeah. rather than the X as individual. So what do you think? I, I prefer A-frames over Xs. I'm, I'm just an X kind of guy. Like, like the yeah, X. but an X is like the same as a doom buggy, Jim. Like when you see a doom buggy going through mud... No, I've never rolled the car. But the thing is, is that if you put an A-frame, no, yeah. that corner that. is crossed to that corner, and whereas an X is individual. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Besides, he's going to have, we have to put the diagonal f for the, the pocket. You know, the, you know from this corner of the hoop up to the head, for the pocket of the head? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have to put that anyways. So that actually is what that's for. This is my day back. Yeah, but I... You're the boss man, you tell me. You're the boss man, I don't know what the hell's going on. I just, I do emails, Jim, I don't know. Yeah. You are the boss, I think. Yeah. Um, we need to do, so we need to do the roof bars and then drop the cage so that way we can prop it back up and weld it. I think that's what we need to do next. And we need to remake the boxes in the front. Get rid of your ankle breakers, huh? Mm. But what do you think about the... Like, what is your take on the A-frame fitment? Yeah. You know, actually, Chris, sorry, I don't mean to fuck up your video, but no, no. I don't know if you noticed, but I actually redid the bar. You did what? I remember the whole bar situation? You did that, did I you? couldn't, I couldn't you sleep. Couldn't just leave it. No. Good. I actually, if you actually look at how tight I got it. I was just about to say that that actually looks very even. Yeah. Okay, so you want to do the roof bars, Jimmy? Come on, chop, chop. Shut up. All I do is work, Jim. I work 24-7. 24-7 I work. I don't know where the tape measure is, Jim. Do you want me in the corner of this here? No, nah, yeah. It's just like, we'll go with 730. Yeah. Yeah. Should be the... Well, theoretically, if I did my job right, it should be the same. But if it's not the same, then I'm just going to blame it on you. So it doesn't really matter. There's an issue. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Everything I do is an issue. Yeah, 7.30. Ah, wanker.